Hello. This video will show you how to generate a certificate signing request, or CSR, and private key for a web hosting environment such as Apache or Nginx with OpenSSL. OpenSSL is an open source toolkit for the SSL and TLS protocols. If you're on a Unix system, like Linux or Mac OS, OpenSSL is probably already installed on your system. If you're running Windows, you can easily install OpenSSL with Cygwin or the Windows subsystem for Linux. In this tutorial, we're going to generate both the private key and CSR at the same time. We'll provide instructions for generating both RSA keys and elliptic curve digital signature algorithm, or ECDSA, keys. We'll start with RSA. The command shown will generate a 2048-bit RSA private key and CSR. Replace the file names shown in all caps with the actual paths and file names where you wish to save the private key and CSR files. Let's break this command down. OpenSSL is the command for running OpenSSL. Rec is the OpenSSL utility for generating a CSR. Dash new key RSA colon 2048 tells OpenSSL to generate a new 2048-bit RSA private key. If you would prefer a 4096-bit key, you can change the number to 4096. Dash key out private key dot key specifies where to save the private key file. Dash out my CSR dot CSR specifies where to save the CSR file. With these last two items, remember to use your own paths and file names for the private key and CSR, not the placeholders. After typing the command, press enter. Your key will be generated and you will be presented with a series of prompts. First, create and verify a passphrase. Remember this passphrase because you will need it again to access your private key. You will now be prompted to enter the information which will be included in your CSR. This information is also known as the Distinguished Name, or DN. The Common Name field is required by SSL.com when submitting your CSR, but the others are optional. If you would like to skip an optional item, simply type Enter when it appears. The Country Name field takes a two-letter country code. The State or Province Name field requires a full name. Do not use an abbreviation. The locality name field is for your city or town. The organization name field is for your company or organization. Organizational unit name is for your department or section. The common name field, required, is used for the fully qualified domain name of the website the certificate will protect. Email address is optional. The Challenge Password field is also optional and can be skipped as well. Upon completion of this process, you will be returned to a command prompt. You will not receive any notification from OpenSSL that your CSR was successfully created, so check the directory contents to make sure. To create an ECDSA private key with our CSR, We'll generate a parameter file for the key first, and then specify that when generating the private key in CSR. Again, replace the file names in all caps with the paths where you actually want to save the files. This OpenSSL command will generate a parameter file for a 256-bit ECDSA key. OpenSSL GenPKey runs OpenSSL's utility for private key generation. Dash gen param generates a parameter file instead of a private key. Dash algorithm ec specifies an elliptic curve algorithm. Dash pkeyopt ec underscore param gen underscore curve colon p-256 chooses a 256-bit curve. If you'd prefer a 384-bit curve, change the portion after the colon to p-384 dash dash out ecparam.pem provides a path and file name for the parameter file now 
Specify your parameter file when generating the CSR. The command is the same as the one we used to generate the RSA key, but dash new key RSA colon 2048 has been replaced with dash new key ec colon ecparam.pem. As before, you will be prompted for a passphrase and distinguished name information for the CSR. And again, OpenSSL will not notify you that the CSR has been generated. If you like, you can also use redirection to combine the two OpenSSL commands into one line, skipping the generation of a parameter file. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope it has been helpful. For much more information about working with digital certificates, please visit our website at www.ssl.com.